Welcome to Tacklebreeze, Texas. Uh, I'm Rupert Ellis, this is Misty, and today we're going to be talking to you about uh, license to carry handbags, uh, pa purses and handbags uh, for the lady shooter in your life. And if you are a female shooter, uh, then uh, th this is really for you. So, um, Misty's had a firearm in her life for a fair while now and uh, has a license to carry, so she carries a firearm on a daily basis. And in the time that she's been shooting, uh, she's had a lot of experience with regard to the various bags that are on the market place today. So um, I'm going to hand straight over to Misty. So Misty, would you like to tell the ladies and gentlemen what, what your experiences have been? Sure, absolutely. Um, like you said, had a gun in my life for quite a, quite a while now. Um, went through several purses. Um, I love the idea of the concealed carry handbag because, you know, having a gun on your person at all times without people being aware of that, that's a great thing. Um, Bought several, was disappointed with several, until we come across the bags that we carry in our store now. Uh, with the others, I found that my gun was catching on things inside the purse. Uh, it would flop over. There was no uh, holster inside it. There was no way to actually know where the gun was or what it was going to get caught on at the time. Didn't really like that. Until we come across the, the purses that we carry in store now. These purses are made out of leather. They're not a nylon or anything like that. They, they're very durable. I've had one for several years now, and as badly as I beat up a purse, it still looks great. <laughs> uh, they are made with a reinforced leather so that when you've got your gun inside your purse, you don't see it. Don't matter how much crap I suck, stuff in this purse, you do not see the gun. And it does not get caught on anything because there is actually a compartment built in the purse for the gun itself. There's a built in holster. I know it's hard to see because of the dark leather and my black gun, but when I reach in, I know exactly where that handle is at all times, and I know that the gun's gonna be in the same position every time I reach for it. So if I have this purse on my shoulder, and I'm in a situation that I'm uncomfortable with, and I need to reach in and I need to pull this gun for whatever reason, I don't have to take my eyes off of what is going on. I don't need my attention diverted. I simply reach in, I get it by the handle, and it comes out smoothly without catching on anything. I really, really like that. It makes me feel safe. And, and as you probably just noticed, uh, Misty is actually left-handed. Uh, and and um, uh, left-handed people have uh, the whole uh, raft of different challenges when it comes to hang-on ownership. The, the great thing about the bags that we stock is that they're ambidextrous. Uh, so, as you've seen with Misty's uh, brown slouch bag, uh, there's a central compartment with the, which is unique for, for the firearm. It's not somewhere where you can put all of your uh, other fluff and, uh, and, uh, and, and uh, luxury items. Um, lint, for kind of um, anything, bits of paper. Because this is what we find in people's bags, pockets, range bags and so on. We, we accumulate rubbish uh, in there. And uh, the downside with guns is that they don't perform really in a dust or linty environment. Uh, keep them clean and uh, well maintained is a, is a, is a key part of, uh, of making sure that they're going to be reliable. With these bags they have a bespoke gun compartment. As you can see there's two accesses on this one for the gun compartment so it can be ambidextrous. If you're left handed or right handed you can put the gun pretty much wherever you want it to be. So inside each of these bags there is a bespoke holster. So let me just show you that. First and foremost, I'm going to show you this gun. It's a 357 Magnum uh, Ruger. I'm going to just show you the gun is clear. Put the gun in the holster when you're ready to uh, put the holster into the uh, gun. You put it, sorry, the holster into the bag. You put it where it's going to be convenient for you. And because I'm rough and tough, I can quite cheerfully uh, carry the, uh, the, the bag on my shoulder throughout Texas. And uh, if ever I need to draw it, I can then reach in. And guess what? Out comes the revolver because that's exactly where I put it. And the thing is with, uh, with, the, with, the, uh, with the bag, um, if I don't want to actually draw uh, the pistol at one point, if I have my, gun, uh, my hand on my gun, boom, I can just fire it through the bag itself. That's uh, uh, just a slight uh, different tactic to, uh, to perhaps what you might otherwise be, uh, be expecting. We've got quite a big selection to say the least, and, and Misty, could, could you just show uh, the ladies and gentlemen some of the new bags in for this, for this summer? This summer, summer 2016, this is uh, July uh, 2nd by the way, so what have we got coming today? Well, we've had this really beautiful suede leather bag come in. Uh, the, 
This one is a little bit different than mine. The gun is actually on the outside of the purse, but I have one very similar to this and I like it as well because the access to the gun is very quick and easy. Yep. This is the holster. Again, like he was saying, these are Velcro. You can turn this holster either direction, any angle you choose, and when you reach in, you know exactly where the handle is every single time. It's a separate compartment for the gun, which is great. It's a bright summer color, and there's plenty of room in the center for all your goodies. Yeah, and this is actually not just yellow. We have them in a variety of different mm -hmm. colors. We're just showing you the light yellow suede one to start with. We also have some distressed buffalo hides out bags as well, so Misty, if you could grab both of those. Uh, we, we have a few buffalo uh, product here. Uh, we have uh, African Cape buffalo product, but, uh, but this is a North American bison product. So it's a distressed leather product, mm -hmm. and, and it gets better with age. So Absolutely. Uh, have you got both of them there? I can't. Mm, I, will. Yeah, I okay. have both of them here. So. Okay, so in various different sizes, so depending on uh, on the situation that you're in, uh, for example, if you were going to the opera, for example, I nearly said a bar because you can't take a gun into a bar, but if you were going to go into, uh, into to the opera, for example, something like this might be quite nice in Cheetah. We have these in uh, in various different colours, and guess what? Again, there's a compartment here that you can put a small compact uh, uh, pistol in. So it doesn't have to be a huge sack that you carry around. Uh, one of Misty's other bags happens to be uh, this, this particularly attractive uh, Tiger Stripe affair. And again, it has a bespoke compartment specifically for the gun. And uh, just to show you, at the back, da -da -da, that's where your gun is going to go. So um, if you happen to have, so this gun is clear, if you happen to have the Springfield XDS, for example, there is the Springfield XDS disappeared and uh, it's gone. I mean, it really has gone. And if I want to have access to the firearm, you know, as Misty alluded to earlier, you don't have to have the zips closed, but if I do need to draw the gun, guess what? There it is. So, would you like to share uh, with the ladies and gentlemen which the best selling of our bags is? Uh, uh, yes. Being Texas, we, we like our tooled leather. We like that saddle look. Mm. So we have this very gorgeous hand-tooled leather cherry bag. This is a gorgeous bag. We sell a lot of these bags. We can barely keep it on the shelf. Um, again, it has this space on the outside for the gun. It carries a very large gun or a very small gun. Whichever you choose, you can get the holsters custom to your gun. But it will hold up to a Springfield XD40 because I actually have this purse too. And uh, it carries my gun. Oh shit, Sherlock. <laughs> so, uh, and again, in terms of new models out for this year, summer 2016, sees the same uh, uh, kind of embroidery come through. This this tooled uh, rose pattern has proved very, very popular. It's now come out in, uh, in, in black leather too. Something else I should tell you about very quickly about these bags. Um, so, uh, being in touch with my feminine side, here I am walking gaily along. No gay jokes. So uh, here I am walking uh, happily along and somebody decides to mug me. Uh, good luck with that. Uh, but if you do, generally the way that it works, somebody will come along with a knife, cut the strap, drag the bag and off they go with it. The nice thing about our bags is that they have um, steel braiding uh, in the straps. And I'm not going to say that they're slash proof because there's always going to be somebody out there that wants to prove me wrong. Um, welcome to my world. Um, but it's slash resistance, so if your uh, window of opportunity is relatively brief and the person tries to slash the bag and go on and fails at the first attempt, at least you're going to be prepared if they come back for a second one um, to uh, either you deal with it how you see fit. So, um, long and the short is, we like these bags. Absolutely. So we looked at some bags, we've looked at five different manufacturers to, to stock in our store. Um, a couple of them were really quite expensive. Beautiful products, but uh, frankly, as a small independent company, if the bags are a thousand bucks each, I can't really afford to have very much of a display of them. Uh, so, so that kind of excluded uh, a couple of the manufacturers. There was another manufacturer that we've had several of the bags of in our, in our lives. Uh, turns out that the bags are made from PVC. They look quite nice, but they just didn't hold the gun properly, and the, the, the guns didn't have their own compartment. So with these, these are fabulous, uh, and just to give you a heads up with regards to who we're dealing with here, um, hi Jane, by the way. Hey Jane. Hey. <laughs> so uh, our contact, uh, Jane, is uh, one of the principles of Gun Toting Mummers. It's an American company, it's an all-ladies company, they all shoot, they know quite a lot about, uh, about, uh, about concealed carry handbags, and uh, not only is the, uh, the bags made to the right quality, they're made at the right price too, and to a very nice specification. Um, so Jane, uh, thank you, you know, we're really delighted to, 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 to kind of be in partnership with you, um, apart from the fact that uh, she calls me an English Pongo. 
English muffin. English no. muffin, Pongo, um, her little English rascal. British sausage. A sausage. Uh, I know I'm, I'm, <laughs> a, I'm a sausage as well. Um, you know, uh, you know, it's a, it's a small price to pay for, for, for being able to sell such amazing bags. So uh, we do have a huge selection. As I'm sitting here, I'm looking out into the into the shop at the moment. We have three pillars each, of which has I mean, 15 or 20 bags on. We have glass cases full of them. We have over 65 different styles and colour of bag in the store right now today, July the 2nd, 2016. So if I could just diversify for a second. Okay, very, very nice little satchel, uh, satchel esque kind of bag. We also have uh, kind of doctor's bags and briefcase style bags as well, which are unisex. But Governor Abbott changed the law last year. Thank you, uh, Governor Abbott. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, mm. Cool guy. Not only did you sign off on uh, a license to carry agreement so we can open carry in the state of Texas, you've also changed the law with regard to concealed carry on campus as well. We've got some really exciting times ahead because San Marcos is a university town. We, 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 we have what, five, five and a half thousand mm. students. At least five and a half thousand transient students, most of which are female. Yeah, it's a high proportion of ladies that actually come to college here. And uh, in, a, in a few weeks' time, you're going to be able to carry uh, on campus uh, concealed. So not only do we, uh, do we have a uh, license to carry training courses, we also have an introduction to handguns training course as well. So ladies, if you're, if you're in the vicinity, uh, hey, if you're anywhere in Texas, come see us, you know. But if you're looking for an introduction to handguns, where we, we run a course to show you how, how the guns work, how to load them, unload them, make them safe. It's a live fire shooting exercise where you will shoot seven different revolvers, seven different semi-automatic pistols, and then we'll show you how to clean and maintain them as well. So it's very, very hands-on. We, we deliver these training courses twice a month and we have been since we've been open so please if you're looking to have a firearm in your life for the first time please feel free to come and join us for one of those um, if you already have a firearm in your life and you'd like a license to carry we deliver those courses too uh, but when it comes to license to so we can still carry on campus we do have some very very beautiful and very very practical solutions for you to be able to carry on your person and with that regard, I just want to finish, I guess, with, uh, with regard to uh, this uh, quite uh, snazzy little uh, jobby here. Uh, for those of you who have a PDA or a tablet of some description, this is a tablet uh, carrier. It's, it's, it's superb quality leather. Uh, your tablet fits in here, and then you can adjust the angle for when you're working on it. And it's got a nice little magnetic tab that keeps it, keeps it closed at the end. Uh, is that the beginning or the end of that story? Well, I'm not really quite so sure, because when I open the gun up, uh, sorry, the, the, uh, the thing up, you'll see that... Uh, I already have a, uh, a Glock 43 sat in there. The gun is clear and unloaded. I should stress that. Uh, and um, so, you know, when it comes to actually having a uh, uh, a firearm on you, uh, and if I, I show it to you from the side, you'll see that this is a very, very discreet means uh, of uh, of having a firearm around you if you're still in full time or otherwise academia. So, license to carry uh, is a is a very broad subject. Um, carrying a bag. Uh, sort of carrying a gun more so. Carrying a bag from a lady's perspective has its own challenges too. It does, it does. So I guess just to finish off, um, we really do try and go the extra yard when it comes to the, the ladies who come into our store. Misty, if you'd like to just share our ethos with regard mm -hmm. to that. Absolutely. You know, gun stores are not just for the men anymore, ladies. We carry a lot of products here for the women. We train the women, like Rue was saying. Uh, if you're a first-time gun buyer or you already have a gun in your life and you just want to learn a little more about them, come see us here at Tackleberries. We will definitely take care of you. We've got lots of beautiful purses, and us ladies always like an excuse to buy another purse. Come on down and see us. We'll take care of you, and we'll make sure you walk out the door happy. That's true enough. Thank, thank you, Misty. Um, that, that's pretty much all we've got today. Um, I guess the last thing for me to say, really, uh, thanks for watching once again. It is the 2nd of July today. Being English, I've not actually been in, uh, in America for the 4th of July before. I've left on the 4th of July a few times, but that's the traditional English thing to do. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, this year my country voted for independence uh, for, you know, just a few days ago to leave uh, the bureaucrats and politicians of Europe uh, far behind. Yeah, cheerio Europe. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, and Angela Merkel, yeah, uh, big kiss from Texas. In, in the big scheme of things, I, I'm starting to appreciate more and more exactly how much freedom means and, and, and what it's taken to, to get that. Uh, 
I, I know you guys uh, have freedom from, from my countrymen historically, um, but on behalf of everybody here in, in Tacklewoods of Texas, uh, we'd just like to wish you a very, very happy 4th of July, happy Independence Day. It's so good to be here, I can't begin to tell you. Um, come see us. If, if, if you're looking for, for, for something a bit unusual, come see us. It'd be great to see you. Mm, definitely. Okay. And you guys have a happy 4th of July. Okay. Thanks again. Bye now.